Hello friends, my name is Rajkumar Tenma. Today I will tell you about the implementation of mathematical function in Simulink. So we are taking one example with the help of that we will understand how we can implement a mathematical function in Simulink. So you have to build a Simulink model uh, that evaluates the function ft for the given time constraints. So the function uh, f of t is equal to e to the power sin t plus e to the power cos 100t and the time constraint r uh, t is greater than or equal to minus 2 pi and less than or equal to 2 pi and a step size uh, or we can say uh, the time will increment uh, by the factor pi upon 2000 so this is the step size so you have to make these settings also in the simulink model and uh, you have to evaluate the function and finally you have to display the result so let's see how we can implement this in the uh, simulink so first of all uh, i required uh, the time t right because my function is uh, f of t so i require t so for t we can take uh, the input from sources that is clock so we have uh, one um, block that is clock uh, with the help of clock we can use the simulation time what is the simulation time it provide that as the output so uh, simply it is providing the t and after the t you have to perform uh, the sync operation right sync of t and after that uh, you can perform the exponential okay so this is t and uh, after that you can use the matlab interpreted function right so in matlab interpreted function you can write the sync uh, or you can write sync of u like this or if you keep this only sync c it will work right so i'm just writing sync u so now uh, I have because u is the input so at this time I have the input as a t so this is the sync t now I have to use one exponential function that is uh, under the math operations and we have the math function right so we have used these blocks previously also so by default it is exponential okay so now uh, at this point I have e to the power sync of t right and uh, in the other side I have to perform e to the power cos 100 t right so first of all I required 100 t here I was using t at this time I required 100 t so first of all I have to use the gain right after that I can pass through that the cosine function then exponential and finally I can add these two uh, function right so I can take one gain block right gain block and uh, I have to write the value as 100 so the output of gain is now 100 T and now I can use one trigonometric function right so this is the block trigonometric function uh, so it has all the trigonometric options right so you can choose so here I have to use cos so cos okay so the output of this block is cos 100 t right after that you have to use the same block exponential so control and drag that create one copy okay now you can use one add block so you can just type add so add block is here or you can get all these from the math operations right so we have all these blocks here now you can use one scope okay now we have to apply the time constraints okay so for doing that uh, we can go to the modeling then model setting uh, actually we have to go to the configuration parameters so if you are using some different version of uh, simulink in that case you can go to the configuration parameters okay so here you have to set the starting time that is minus 2 pi right and the stop time is 2 pi okay so this is starting from minus 2 pi up to uh, 2 pi and uh, you have to take the step size not as the variable rather you take as fixed step right and uh, solver we are just keeping the auto right 
so it will select automatically the suitable solver there are so many solvers okay so I will discuss about this solver in different video in the solver detail you can set the size because we have the size that is pi upon 2000 that is provided in the problem right so these are the additional setting that you have to done in the configuration parameters right apply okay now you can run the model check the output so uh, we get the output uh, here you can notice that uh, it is starting from zero okay so by default it is start from zero so we have to set the offset time right because we have the uh, time from minus uh, 2 pi but uh, here it is starting from zero so for that uh, you can just right click and go to the configuration uh, properties or you can go to the view and configuration properties and here uh, in the time you can change the time display offset right so it is minus 2 pi so now you can check it it has started from minus 2 pi and going up to 2 pi now uh, this is the correct plot right now if you want to uh, close this in a subsystem uh, you can create one subsystem by using all these blocks so just create subsystem so now this is one subsystem so uh, we have implemented the problem by using so many blocks right so this is the subsystem I can uh, perform this work by just using a single block right so instead of using all these things uh, this is a very simple approach we can say right uh, but we can use a simple uh, one function that we have already used in previous lectures that is MATLAB interpreted function so by using MATLAB interpreted function you can get the same result so uh, I will demonstrate that also so I am taking one interpreted function right and uh, taking the simulation time and taking one additional scope and so at this time I will uh, provide the MATLAB function that is the combination of the two function or we can say the whole expression right so that is e to the power so for the e to the power I have to write the exp because MATLAB function is exp exponential and uh, we have the sync function also sync and I have to write here a u because whatever the input is applied that is u okay so at this time we are applying the t so I can say I'm writing simply sync t right then plus exponential e to the power cos of 100 and uh, t so for the t we have to use u because u is predefined we can say that is defined internally so we can use the variable u only okay so there's no need to define u okay apply now you can run the model and you have to set the all configuration parameters but uh, here we have already set on those parameters so for this current model that parameters are already set so no need to change the parameters again okay you can check here so these are already uh, set okay so if you are just implementing by using this option you have to uh, set the configuration parameters okay so now you can check the result so we are getting the same result you can change the uh, time display offset that is minus 2 into pi so we are getting the same result by the 2 scope you can check here right okay so I think now you can easily implement any mathematical uh, function within the simulink so I hope uh, you have enjoyed this lecture if you have enjoyed this lecture please like this and share with your friends thank you